made some more DIY for you guys and today it is all about the decor. So I'm showing you how to make three different decor pieces that I had such a fun time making so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and get a chance to make them yourselves. Other than that I hope you guys have a fantastic summer. If you have already started summer I hope it's been amazing thus far. Let's get right on into the video and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's get right on in. So for the first DIY you're going to need some little planters, some stones, white and green paint, some paint brushes, and some pebbles. You can definitely find those outside if needed. Then go ahead and start painting those stones. I did each one of my stones a different color. Also, just a warning, it will take a couple of coats to make sure that that paint is nice and solid. And once that is done, you can go ahead and take your white paint and decorate your rock with some cactus-like streaks. Then it's time to fill your planter with some pebbles. Insert your painted stones in whatever variation you desire. There you have it, as easy as that. Now you have a beautiful planter you can decorate your home with. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I am a huge snacker in the summer, so it's always great to have some really cute containers that I can store them in. And for this, all you're going to need is a jar, a paint color of your choice, a paintbrush, a plastic toy animal, and some glue. So to start off, I like doing a primer coat, so I'm going to paint the elephant in the jar in white. Once that is done, I'm going to start by taking my gold paint and painting on top of it. This again is going to take a few layers to get a nice solid coat. But once it's done, it looks beautiful and all that's left to do is glue it down. Now I recommend using crazy glue because this will lock it down in place, but if you feel more comfortable using a hot glue gun, that will totally work as well. Then just make sure to hold it down to make sure it locks in place. And then it's time for all those yummy treats. And there you have it, an adorable candy jar. And now it's time to make this gorgeous dream catcher. All you need is a hoop, some string, some feathers, and whatever else you think might be useful for a dream catcher. I have some lace and some beads as well. So you just start off by wrapping the hoop in a piece of string or lace. And when you get to the end, go ahead and tie it off. For the weaving, you're going to need a thin string and start by holding it down on the end. Then you're going to want to create a loop through the hoop and take your string and pull it through that loop that you just made to create a tie at the edge of the hoop. Then go ahead and continue this process for the rest of the hoop. Once you get to the end of the hoop, you're going to want to continue the same pattern through the stringed loop that you just created. And once you've gone round and round, you can tie off the string and snip it off. And I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. And now it's really time to let your creative pieces flow. This is really up to you how you decide to decorate your dream catcher. The way that I decided to do it is just by taking some strings and hooping them around to create a knot. And then I just decided to braid some, I decided to leave some plain, um, added some feathers and some beads, as well as some lace. So that's just my own decision of how I decorated it, but you guys feel free to do whatever you want. Then I just decided to take a piece of string to braid it to create a hoop along the top so I can hang it anywhere I want it. And this is my final product of my dream catcher and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys next time.